The next splint that we're going to be using is for a uh, hip and pelvic fracture splint. It's similar to the cut extraction, but this is just um, going to be going um, just around the hip and pelvis area. Uh, so again, just like the um, Kendrick extrication device, this also has the three different colored uh, buckles uh, and straps. Um, so again, uh, in our scenario here, we'll have the person um, standing. Uh, and what we're going to do for this is we're going to um, try to find their, their belly button because uh, the, the top of this is going to go just uh, maybe an inch or two above the, the belly button. Again, you can adjust it appropriately to make sure that it covers the, the correct area uh, once you get it on. Um, but that's what we're going to be using as our, uh, as our guide. Okay, and again, if, if the victim has uh, their upper body is working fine, their arms, uh, then you can ask them to help you, help you hold it um, if you need to. Okay, because again, this does need to be a little snug. Is that snug? It'd be a little tighter. Okay. There we go. So again, the Velcro is around here, and again, you just want to make look at it before you completely attach it to make sure um, that it covers both the, the hip and the, on both sides. And then once the yellow piece is across, then you connect, can connect your, um, your other straps. Okay, and so we have the yellow strap we did first, uh, the green strap, and now the red strap is here at the top. All right, and again, it's, it's helpful. I'm going to turn you just a little bit. Um, you know, maybe if you have uh, two people um, to, to make it a little bit more secure, because maybe one can help you make any adjustments on the, the yellow piece. Again, this needs to be secure enough, but not. You need to watch it, you know, because they you know, did get a fracture, so you still need to be careful. So talk to them. Is that tight enough? Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Then again, if you, you know, if you need to, um, you have a little. Um, you know, if, you, if you wanted to, you can tuck these out of, out of the way, um, the ends of these. But another thing that I wanted to mention is that um, if we had to use this, this piece for, uh, for a lift, um, this does have uh, handles on here. Um, so if we had a person on each side and, we, and he was lying on the ground, we could you know, you know, move them if we, if we needed to. So otherwise, we would um, uh, take them into uh, take them in to get X-rays and to see the doctor um, from there. Another and more appropriate treatment. Um, so that is the splinting for the hip and the pelvis.